Let us know what you think about Manhunt. You can do all of that by, by visiting our website. TechTV.com slash xlay. Thank you, thank you. We'll be back. Red Faction and Splinter Cell get oh so teeny tiny on the Engage. What's with all these homies dissing Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb? Yeah, what's with them? Well, we're, we're homies. Why are you dissing us? So nice. Stop. Welcome back to X Play. All right, we're going to move on to our first game reviews on the M Gauge. All right, so in case you've missed the massive advertising campaign because you were in a coma, the N Gauge is a portable gaming system and it's also a cell phone. Oh, hello? Yes? Orlando Bloom? I would love to go out with you. And apparently it makes a phone call for you as well. Okay, the handheld market has, of course, been dominated by the Game Boy Advance, as you yeah. can see right here. But we thought we'd see how our favorite titles here at X-Play, Splinter Cell, which we loved on the Xbox, the PS2, the GameCube, and the Game Boy Advance, holds up on another portable handheld. We're also going to take a look at Red Faction. Why? Because it was ported to the end gauge by John Romero, as in the John Romero who developed Doom. And Daikatana. Hmm, yeah. So, here are reviews of Splinter Cell and Red Faction for the Engage. Splinter Cell was a big hit on the consoles, and now it's been adapted for Nokia's Engage in a surprisingly faithful but brief interpretation. Just like the console versions, you play as Sam Fisher. The game story is also the same, though it's told via scrolling text. The object is to find ways through each level without being detected. You can hide in the broom closet or sneak up from behind and deliver an incapacitating blow. Sam can also use his gun to subdue enemies, and there are plenty of locks to pick. The vertical screen can make it hard to see what's coming up, especially when Sam's running, but the sticky camera can help you scope things out. It's fun, but it's also quite short for a shadowy three out of five. The Engage port of Red Faction is far less successful. It's an ugly, muddy mess, even by handheld standards. Even with such low-grade visuals, it still can't even avoid slowing down and stuttering. Hey, Tomb Raider proved that 3D was possible on this system, so what gives? It's mostly a series of brown and gray hallways that all look the same. Prepare to get lost repeatedly. That is, when you're not being assaulted by the same enemies over and over. Die, miner. Die, miner. Die, miner. Yeah, yeah, die, miner. I am thoroughly nonplussed by your witty repartee, sir. Factor in the clunky controls and not too bright auto lock feature, and you've got yourself a bonafide one out of five. Okay, obviously Splinter Cell translated a lot better than Red Faction did, but then again, Red Faction isn't really something that should be on a portable in the first place. You know, it's kind of like 007 Nightfire for the GBA. You put a first-person shooter on a handheld, you go blind. Now, on the upside, you can link your N-Gage to someone else's N-Gage, and you can inflict Red Faction on them. Oh, goody. Huh.